Welcome to Ella J. Boy, what an appropriate thing to say this morning, Dwight Sanford. Mr. Ella J is with me. Do you want to tell folks a little bit about how you got rooked into being here today? Because the audience is full of people who said, Dwight, can you do something for me? And you made a mistake. You said, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah, well, we were having a parade and uh, first we were lined up with one guy and then it went to another person, this lady. and. Uh, when she got in the car, she didn't know me. <laughs> didn't know your song. <laughs> She'd never heard my song. <laughs> and uh, didn't know that I'm Mr. Ella J. No. <laughs> and uh, so we kept talking, and after a while I said, did you hear the song? No. No, what song? <laughs> and I said, do you know who I am? No. <laughs> don't know who you are. <clears throat> so we went on, and we were riding the parade. We went around and, and did the thing, you know. She kept saying, rev the engine, rev the engine. Yeah, so I did. And uh, after a while, uh, we had some more talks, and she's, she's interviewed a lot of people. This lady here, she, you've interviewed Earl Thomas Connolly. Donna Fargo. Donna Fargo. Brian Wilson. Yeah. Tell me, which way do you think your career's going right now? Now yeah, you got me. Down <laughs> <laughs> no. I, oh. I have challenged you to do something. Isn't that something. a little backwards? <laughs> That's a little backwards. No. <laughs> I challenged you to do something because you made the mistake of telling me that the songs actually come to you. You're on a tractor and it just comes across your shoulder and in 10 minutes you yep. can write a song. So I said, okay, big boy, you've got it knocked down with Ella J. You have 200,000 views on YouTube. Now you're going to write a song about ball ground. And you looked at me like I'd lost my mind. Yeah. Well. yeah. It all depends on the tractor. You know. It does the it's, tractor. It's about yes. the tractor. Yes, no. about the tractor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I feel a little bit better because she interviewed Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys. Yeah. And there was a guy there that day. Yeah, a guy. And she also didn't know him. No. She no. didn't know him either. So would you like to tell us who that guy was? That guy was Glenn Campbell. And I, yeah. looked, I looked at the Beach Boys and I said, who's this guy sitting next yeah. to me? And they said, Glenn Campbell. And I said, Who's that? Well, so when I'll I didn't that. know you, it was okay. I'm in a group with Glenn Campbell. <laughs> exactly. So that's, I'll go along with that. You exactly. didn't know me and you didn't know Glenn didn't. Campbell. And it was kind of funny because number one, I'm a Chevelle girl. And so you show up in a 57 Ford and I'm already thinking, but you were so polite and you opened the car door for me. And I thought, oh my God, he's so nice. I'm a gentleman. And then I get in the car and I realize that there's no 396 under the hood. <laughs> and it's a 317 1957 T-Bird engine. A 312, yeah. 312, yeah, okay, a yeah. 312. And, and it doesn't make quite the noise that the Chevelles no, do. So no. immediately I ask you, yeah. could we please have a Chevelle before the next parade? And you replied, you're spending my money already. Yeah, you're already <laughs> spending my money, yeah. <laughs> exactly, and yeah. I said, that's what women do. But yeah, well, you You know, have but... several cars, you have several passions, but music is certainly that passion. Yeah, I love music, I always have. Starting when you were five years old, when yeah. your mom? My mom, uh, it was uh, 1962. Now I'm revealing my age, Yeah. but uh, don't matter, proud of it. Uh, I said, I wanna learn something on the guitar. I was five years old, my hand was too little to reach. Mm -hmm. And uh, she sat me up in the middle of the bed and laid a guitar across my lap, okay? And she showed me this little song. Wow. It was called Chewing Chawing Gum. Wow. Yeah, and I played it with my thumb. I couldn't reach anything else. That's wow. And, uh, five years old. Yeah, five years old. And uh, then I started learning Johnny Cash, and then I got to where one day I could reach the neck. <laughs> that was it. Danger. Yeah, and there we went. Yeah, yeah. What other influences did your mom have on you? Did she write too? She, my mom uh, wrote songs, she sure did. Her name was Audrey, by the way, Audrey Davis Sanford. She wrote songs and uh, she sang harmony. She could sing any part, any part, and right along on the fly, okay? Mm. You'd just start singing and she'd start singing too. On the fly, I'm telling you, she could just nail it every time. Wow. She was very talented and uh, yeah, big influence. 
And there's another lady who's a big influence in your life today, and yeah, she is your another, aunt. Yeah, it's little Aunt Margie. Yes, yes. She's a she's a handful. <laughs> and Aunt Margie watches the show. Yes, yeah, she's there now. She is, and we got to say howdy to Aunt Margie. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she's a. Uh, we have a lot of fun. We eat out at a lot of places, and we go here and there, and just enjoy life right now. It's, yep. it's going good. Yeah. And she has no children, but you kind of occupy her time, and she occupies yours, yeah. and y'all really get along pretty cool. She calls me her son. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool, that's pretty yeah. cool. when she needs something, she knows who to call. You know, when you got into the music business, um, you chose the people that you loved, and you really shocked me, because we were going over notes of who likes who and who likes what, and we liked a lot of the same familiar people, but your favorite blew my mind. And really? you're, you're going to do a little bit of their music in a little bit, which will, I think, surprise people from Ella J because you are, I described you yesterday as a bit of a hillbilly, a bit of a country guy, and you love Hank Williams Sr., you love the old guys, but you also, when you said your favorite, favorite group for the in international was who you told me, I was like, yeah. really? I didn't see that coming. Yeah, it's those fabulous Beatles. It is. I love them. I love them. It's what they did and when they did it mm -hmm. and what they did it with that makes the Beatles so special. And then your favorite USA group is the same Credence. Credence Clearwater Credence. Revival. Credence. My heroes are Doug Clifford and Stu Cook. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you talk about a rhythm section now. There's one. Yeah, and, and that's, it's really weird because you are country and you do love the country, but you go to all avenues of music. I love everything from the Chuck Wagon Gang to Van Halen. Mm -hmm. I haven't missed a Kiss concert in I don't know when. Wow, that is crazy. <laughs> ACDC. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to put you on the spot because uh -oh. I heard you play your guitar and some of the folks in the audience had heard you and they said, wait till you hear him on guitar. Absolutely mind blowing. So, will you do a little bit of live music for us? Yes, I will. Can you do that? How about B.J. Thomas? How about I love B.J. Thomas? <clears throat> You've interviewed him too, haven't you? No, I actually oh, had have? an interview set up with him and I chose to fly to Alaska instead, which was kind of a downer. I should have stayed well, here and done the interview. Anyway, here's a little bit of B.J. that I've always loved. She was just 16. child and me. Now things were hard and I was scared, but whenever I would cry, she'd calm my tears and drown my fears with a rock and roll lullaby. And she'd sing, sha na 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 it'll be all sound of a good old rock and roll lullaby. Wow. How's that? Wow. Okay, guys, what do you think? <laughs> awesome. 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 You see why you're Mr. Ella J? Well, I don't <laughs> oh know. Oh, my uh, gosh. It's an honor to be Mr. Ella J, that I suppose. That is so cool. That is so cool. I did write the song. So. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I think about the music of my my generation, from Motown to the country stuff to Patsy Cline, um, there were so many songs that we remember what we were doing at a time of our life. Now, when you're writing, do you write because of something that's happening in your life or truly just something? You, you told me something about you. You don't drink coffee. You don't smoke. You don't drink alcohol. You you seem Never to live have. at the foot of the cross, and then you wrote my anthem, which is I've Been Wrong Before, and it oh, sounds darn. like it was done in a bar. So <laughs> does your writing come from the heart, or does it come uh, from life's experiences? It uh, sometimes, very seldom, it it's come from an, comes from an experience. It's always from the heart, but uh, 
often it just pecks me on the shoulder. Uh, I'll be on a tractor or I was used to, I'd be driving a school bus and. Let's talk about that. Yeah. 41 <laughs> years. 41 years. And if you're, if you're out there somewhere, you may remember taking a piece of paper and a pencil, <clears throat> excuse me, and writing down what I said. I'd say, write that, I'd hand it to a kid and say, write what I say. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I love <clears throat> Some it. songs came that way. <clears throat> That's awesome. But yeah. Okay, if you chose your favorite song you've written, what would it be? It's called Baby Blue. It's about Ella J or a town, any town, mm -hmm. USA also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, that's my favorite and uh, the one I like, but nobody else liked it, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. Now, one of your <clears throat> favorite and one of your best-selling CDs is all gospel music. Yeah. So, yeah. is there an influence from church in your life? Yeah, sure. Uh, went to church when I was a little boy, and, uh, and we've always uh, been, you know, involved in singing gospel songs mm -hmm. with all the harmony parts and mm -hmm. everything but uh that one that one is the biggest selling one i've had now you did a concert recently over at ringgold at that yeah. beautiful beautiful old depot that's Gosh, such yeah, a I great it. place I it is it. beautiful yes. and you've done a couple here at gaha at the uh -huh. event center mm -hmm. and i understand they sold out they told me i couldn't get a ticket because it sold out Backed and it sold out, out and it lobby. sold out yes <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. that is pretty cool. They were pressed up against the door. Yeah, <laughs> That's pretty cool. Did real good. And I thank you folks for that too, by yeah. the way. I appreciate yeah. it. It makes me feel good. Okay, Mr. Ella J came up with this song, Welcome to Ella J. What, what made that happen? It was a very cold night, plum out of the ordinary cold in Ella J. Uh, I was on the police force, and I had pulled off the side of a little street up on the hill up there called Skyline Drive, and I was just looking out over the lights of the town. And there it came. The song just yep. blam. Yep. There you go. I sat down and cried while it wrote itself. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a, uh, that song was a, uh, just came in all at once like some of them do. Do you want to do a tiny bit of it live now? And sure. Then we're going to go to the recorded part, but do just a little bit of it live as you yeah. remember writing it. I won't do all of it. Yeah, because we're going to do the video in just a few minutes. So. Yeah, I will. I'll just show you what it sounds like when it's really me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, there's a lot of parts to this song and uh, music parts. All you got now is me and a guitar, so please consider that. Yeah. Ninety miles north of Atlanta, where the Kusawati lay. They come out of the hills to pay their telephone bills in a town called Ella J. When the mayor drove a shiny 62 Corvette, Slim was in a cruiser with a Cobra jet. What you see is exactly what you get if you come to Ella J. Ella J, a mighty fine place to be. Ella J, good enough for you. Possum, baby, possum, musky, dine wine. Leave all your troubles at the welcome sign. I'm so proud to call a piece of this mine a town called Ella J. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you You've got Apple sitting behind you. We truly are the Apple capital of. And um, you talk about the economy and the things that are happening. Uh, one of the things I love about what you do is you're, number one, a brilliant businessman because you've got a little of this going, a little of that going, a little of this going. But you're so down to earth. And that is what is genuine about you. And I've been watching the people you hang with are good folks. Vic Davis, one of those good folks. Vic, Vic and Davis. Larry. Vic Larry. and Larry were such an instrumental part in starting ETC and what happened yeah, here absolutely. in the studio. And I was hoping that Vic could be here today. Um, such a great, great group of folks. Boy, they're good people, I'll tell you what. 
And uh, me and Vic hang out all the time right now. I understand yeah, you do. He comes yeah. over to my garage and shows me when I'm about to do something wrong. <laughs> yeah, I heard and, that. <laughs> uh, he, he drives the old car, the old 36 Chevrolet brown truck. You see him coming down in and out all the time, Ernie. Yeah. If it wasn't for him, there'd be several vehicles that I own right now that would not be running. Uh -oh. Um, his health is okay? Yeah, Vic's okay. doing good. good. Gosh, yeah, he's doing real good. 88 years old. Are you wow. glad I said that, Vic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So everybody yeah. knows now. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a commercial break, and I want you to throw us to a commercial. How do you want to do it? You want to do it with music? You want to do it? What do you want to do? Let's just do it without music. All right, let's go. Okay. We're going to take a commercial break now, folks. We thank you for tuning in, and we thank you for staying tuned in. <laughs> we'll be right go. back with you. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more.
sun goes down You can drive through and hear the happy sounds Of the folks in L.A.J. Now way back in the summer of 73 The Red Dot parking lot was the place to be But you could get more than what you bargained for Back in those days in L.A.J. Yeah, you could. L.A.J., <laughs> a mighty fine place to be. L.A.J., good enough for you and me. Yeah. 69 Road Runner Charger RT. Pistol Rip 4 Speed 383. Boy, is that so You're very welcome, Ella J. I can't believe that we finally got that song on this program because of this group of people sitting in the audience because they rooked you into driving me in a parade. Thank you. Thank you. That was pretty cool, y'all. Thank you very that much. That was pretty cool. Okay. Have you got something you want to say? We're going to talk a couple of minutes, but then I want you to sing because that's what you really do well. <clears throat> well, thank you. Are you saying I sing better than I talk? Is that, is that it? I like both. I'm okay with both. Yeah. Well, what I'd like to do is thank you for having me on the show. It's fun. And putting such a spotlight on my stuff. Thank you very much. It's, and I want to thank ETC. all these, I knew nothing about you. Well, this I got more than awesome. that, but Dang. I couldn't find some of them. I want to say a big thank you to ETC for having me on. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yep. And our guys worked hard to get, yes, get things in order so we can go. You engineers and, yes. and all Did you people job. couldn't good do job, it without guys. you. That's for sure. Thank good you. Good job. Thank you for keeping me straight. You yeah. know something we didn't talk about? You actually play all these instruments and you do your own recording. You do it all. You write it. You record it. You sing it. You're a one-man show. Yes, pretty, pretty much, much. Pretty I much. I guess. Uh, I played uh, on just about all of my music. You'll hear a steel player, and that will be Larry Stewart or Tim Hamilton. From Free Home? Yeah. Yeah. And Larry Stewart's from up in Pigeon Forge. And, uh, and uh, I, did, I do a lot of the background vocals and stuff, but the one lady I want to point out is Astrid Hayes. She's awesome. She does all of my backup singing for me. In lots of cases, she'll do all of it. In some cases, I do a part and she'll do a part, but often... She does both parts. She's that awesome. That girl can sing. <clears throat> she can do, she's like my mommy. She can sing anything you want sung and yep, do it on yep. the fly. I'm telling you, she can just reach and get it. Yep, yep, and that's awesome. 
She's, she's good to work with, too. She tells you she'll be there at 7. Be ready at 6.30. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. All right, music. Let's go to your favorite music. Let's go to whatever you want to do, and let's share because there's <coughs> such a difference in the things that you like, the things that you write, and the things that you would listen to. If I got in your car today, what kind of CD would be in there? What's in my CD right now is... Uh, Dwight Sanford, ball hooting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought I'd better check that out again. It's pretty darn good. Okay. You know, all right. not bad. Okay. All right. Let's get some. You got wild. a copy of it over there. It's 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 hard it's kicking a rock one? and roll music. That oh, one is. No, okay. no. Not that one. With my face. There you there go. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Rock and roll. There you yeah. go. All right. Let's go to some live Dwight Sanford. <clears throat> okay. Here's one by my favorite bunch. Those fabulous Beatles. Here I stand, head in hand, turn my face to the wall. If she's gone, I can't go on, feeling two foot small. That's well, pretty thank good. You. That's pretty Love good. Love those Beatles. You know, I forget about the Beatles, but the first, I, I walked into a store in, um, I was 14, walked in a store in Orlando, and their first CD came out. It was 97 cents. And I remember that. That was a lot of money then. Yeah. Not a CD, a, a 45. And it was 97 cents. And yeah. I think, was yesterday one of their first ones? No, but it was, is a. I think it must have been one of my while, first purchases. Yeah. It's come off of Beatles 65. I want to hold your hand. That's yeah, what that I bought that a, day. Yeah, That's what yeah, I bought that day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that was her first big hit over here, I think. Wow. All right. You love B.J. Thomas. You love yep. the Beatles. But you also love Hank Williams Sr. I do. And you Boy, practiced a could... song earlier with him. Can yeah. we do that one? Sure. Hank Williams. I think Ella J will remember this. And I know if they <clears> have enjoyed the music that we feature here in Ella J, it's always been that old country music. Yeah. Boy, Hank was a man. Now, talk about a songwriter, a storyteller. He was something else. And uh, he, I think he influenced rock and roll. Have you ever, I don't know if anybody's listened to Hank Williams very much, but uh, if you look in his music, there's a little rock and roll snappy little thing in there very often. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking Elvis Presley heard that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> I try so hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. The more I learn to care for you, the more we drift apart. Thank you. Okay. You know something we haven't talked about, and we both love Motown. 
We love Motown. We love Motown, yeah. We love the writers of Motown. We love the music. We love the, the melodies and, and the groups, and there's so few of those groups left. Now, one of the things I told you when we were chit-chatting one day was I love Tina Turner. Yes. Love Tina Turner. Yeah. And, um, but then Credence comes about, and you yep. told me that Credence wrote Proud Mary. A lot of people don't know that. I've had arguments before. People That's said wild. this song by Tina Turner, she wrote this great song. She had it, uh, here's, here's the interesting thing. She took it to number one. Yes. Credence never did. It only got to number two. Wow, wow. But uh, actually, uh, Credence Clearwater Revival wrote that song. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Now, if you, when you go and do a set, like at a concert, do you choose, does the crowd want rock and roll? Do they want country? Do you blend it? Do you mix it? How do you decide Sometimes what you're going to do? Sometimes I mix it. Sometimes it's strictly country, and that's when you bring Bill Cunningham, and you don't vary from that. Yeah. But, uh, but sometimes I do mix it up, yeah. Now and I, I do little fun things. I'll say, you get a free something or whatever, or I'll donate money to the... Shriners Children's Hospital, if you guess this question, mm -hmm. and I'll ask something trivia. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the things that I was watching your depot thing, and you liked Jim Croce. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. I can do your song by him. I would love, while. yes, I would love that because I loved his music. He was gone way too soon. Oh, yeah. Way too soon. Jim Croce was something else. Yeah. And, and when I was watching your Depot thing, I thought, uh, yeah, that's that's the music. And, and that's yeah. what you're so d diversified. You know, you do this one, this one, this one, and none of them match. And Whoa. they all work. <laughs> they all work. <laughs> you know, I, I don't get it. I love it all. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Now, you've got a list here. Out of those, are there some other songs you want to do? Well, I can do you that Jim Croce song. That'd be good. Like That'd be good. At the appropriate time. Yeah, and what else? Is there anything else that you really love? Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't. We can think of something if you need more songs, but uh, <coughs> whatever. You know what I'd love to do right <coughs> now? Yep. Because What's I've that? I've listened to this a lot, and I don't know how you, the non-drinking, non-smoking good boy, <laughs> wrote this song. But we're going to go to Sherry's anthem now, and it's <laughs> called "I've Been Wrong Before," and it's written and produced and sung by this I young did man. All the music, Astrid sung the vocals. <coughs> Hot and harmonies and uh, that was Tim Hamilton on steel guitar. When I heard it, I sent it to my daughter who said, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and we're like, this is our anthem. So we want you to sit back now. And this is a song, you're gonna see a beautiful mountain scene and you're gonna get to hear Dwight Sanford as he does. I think it's my anthem. It's called I've Been Wrong Before. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs>
left a message on my phone I called in to talk to him To see what's going on They're laying off across the plant Employees by the score I would say things can't get worse As promised, Mr. Ella J. doing Jim Croce. Here we go. Uptown got its hustlers. The Bowery got its bums. 42nd Street got Big Jim Walker. He's a pool shooting son of a gun. Yeah, he's big and dumb as a man can come, and he's stronger than a country house. And when the bad folks all get together at night, you know they all call Big Jim Boss just because. But they say you don't tug on Superman's cape, you don't spit into the wind, you don't pull the mask off the old Lone Ranger, and you don't mess around with Sam. I do. fell over the pool room when Jimmy come bopping in off the street. And when the fighting was done, the only part that wasn't bloody was the soles of the big man's feet. Yeah, he was cutting by a hundred places, and he was stabbing a couple more. And you'd better believe they sung a different kind of story when Big Jim hit the floor. Everybody said, Jack, don't you know, you don't touch Superman's cake. found out where it's at. He found out you don't go around hustling people strange to you. Even if you do got a two-piece custom belt poop <laughs> yeah. Yay. Awesome. 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 You know what? One thing you have not done, do you like love songs? Do you sing anything that's just a good, I'm trying to think of, what's a good love song? What's it? Huh? Together oh gosh. Again. A together Again. Her Tammy's daddy used here. to sing that all the time. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I yeah. forgot about that song. I don't have Tammy with me. Yeah. Uh, it, it's so weird because your music is all different avenues and then the one I gave you to listen to, Memories of Loving You, it's just a, a total love story. And then when you listen to the rest of Richard's CD, it's nothing about a love story. So the yeah. variety's there, you know, it's weird. So next you gotta write a love story, maybe a love story about people who've come out of what we've seen with COVID, with cancer, with all the horrible things in the life, you know, of, of things people have faced, and then just love and life, just yeah. love and life. So there's something for you to write with. about, yeah. You got a song with a Cadillac in it? Can't think of one right off. 
One is uh, oh, I cut that song short. I didn't want to do it. I left that part about the yes, camera. you did. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you did. Yes, Sorry. you did. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> okay, to end today's music, um, can you think of two or three that you can throw together just a little bits and pieces that you'd love for people to hear? Well, uh, I'm open to suggestions. What's your What's your favorite <laughs> song? If you sat down and somebody requested something, what would you want to hear from the audience? You want You want a real love song? How about that song they do at weddings? What is it? It's called a wedding song. You know Paul Stuckey, of Peter Paul and Mary. Peter Paul and Mary. Yeah. That'd be great. That'd be that's awesome. Because that's song. a great variety, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This is This is real pretty. I, I think we'll do some of it. Now this is totally unrehearsed, and I don't know when in the world was the last time I did this song. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, we're on it anyway. He is now to be among you at the calling of your heart. Rest assured this troubadour is acting on his part. caused him to remain whenever two or more of you have gathered in his name there is love there is love well a man must leave his mother favorite that's awesome what a variety of music when you think about it when people watch the program they're going to see a huge variety of music and and they're going to understand that everything you're doing is coming from your heart and i keep going back to your mama and, and in my mind i'm thinking what a great influence she was on you yeah what a great influence did she enjoy you singing did she encourage you All did you time. just yes. yeah yes. yeah yeah daddy did too had good parents hard working good Good people, good to me, Lord. Can't thank them enough. Right, right. George A. Sanford and Audrey Davis Sanford. Yeah, yeah. What a blessing. What a blessing. Yeah. You know, when I was kind of throwing it out that you were going to be on the show and people were making comments about you, and I said everything was about what a good guy you are and what a good person you are and what, you know, um, the talent. And, and then you think about And I love the idea that you, you actually run around with somebody I've known for a long time, uh, Mr. Forrester, who was in the trucking yeah. business a long time. <laughs> and uh, we used to visit with them. And, and just, you know, there's some good folks in LJ that are still here that are often among the forgotten. People yeah. forget about the older folks folks yeah you know but I love that you don't sometimes uh you know we all do we get we get to feeling like oh gosh um I can't go on I'm, I'm uh, here I am already old or whatever you feel in that day you know 
and uh, I can't do this and I can't do that. Well, I look around and I see Vic Davis and Ed Forrester. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're still doing it. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. that I, I need to realize. I That's need, right. I need to. And in yeah. about 30 years, when Ed goes to be with Jesus, you're going to do his funeral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the story. About 30 years. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. It's it's about it's about taking care of others and being there. And and I think that's one of the the most complimentary things I hear about you is that you're always doing something for somebody else. Yeah. Well, uh, sometimes I don't. Sometimes know. everybody likes to talk well about themselves. <laughs> Not you. But anyway. <laughs> All right. We we need we've got enough time for about three more songs. <laughs> so what you got in your heart that you want to sing? Well, let's see. We'll just start dragging them off of the wall. How's there you that? go. Okay. There you go. I'll just do snippets. All that right. last one was not a snippet snippet. I couldn't figure out how to stop. <laughs> That's all right. Here's a little song I wrote. All right. I wonder what chord of Yeah, it's got good words. I wish I'd have had a better melody or, or some a beat or something, but I like the words. Looking, looking back through all my dreams of yesterday, written in the pages way back when. All I see for me to say Is I wish we could do it all again You and me Crazy things we used to do Makes me wonder how Now, is that from your heart? Because you, it's obvious that's, that's a good one for you. Okay, something for your, your sweet aunt. How about a gospel song? That's something we yeah. haven't touched on because we all love gospel music. Well, she has requested amazing grace. There you go. Couldn't be any better. Let me figure out what key I do this in. <laughs> uh, yep, there it is. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind. Awesome. 
awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, my favorite gospel song would be, now my favorite hymn would be Old Rugged Cross. Does that touch your heart at all? It's a good song. It does touch my heart, but I don't know that one. It's, it's, it's interesting how you have that favorite and you have that one, but at my mother's funeral, at her yeah. request, we did I'll Fly Away yeah. because that was mother's favorite song. Yeah. So sometimes your songs are a little bit sad. Sometimes they're just, and mama's song was I'll Fly Away. And I said, okay, mother, is that appropriate for a funeral? And she said, I think it is. Yeah. So they did it at my daddy's funeral. You choose what you love. Yeah, yeah you choose yeah. what you love. Now, how long ago did you lose your parents? Lost daddy in uh, 1989 and mommy passed away in 2003. And did they live to see you doing CDs and making music? Yeah, Daddy didn't. Well, uh, yeah, he did. He, he saw the legend in his spare time thing <laughs> I did. Uh, and, uh, and Mom saw uh, two or three CDs, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did she ever sing with you? All the time, but and did you record it? No. Do you have well, anything? Yeah, okay. The house we okay. Have okay. That's what I was going to yeah. ask. Do you have any recordings of your mom? Yeah. Could you master those and record them and then put them out there to the public? I have never. Uh, Wouldn't that be an awesome I know, got keepsake? Some stuff laying around, yeah. 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 Because you can't you can't replace those moments. I know. Those are the moments that made you the man you are yeah. today. Yep. We sang that song. Uh, there's a lighthouse on a hillside, and Mom did some incredible harmony on that. Wow. She could sing. And you have that recording. Yeah, it's not a real professional. We just recorded it back in the day, but it's good mm -hmm. enough. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm glad to have it. There you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Okay. She and I and Gary D. Four recorded that. You know how much time we got left? Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. A very yeah. short time, and we want to talk about how do you get Dwight Sanford or Mr. LJ's music. And it's not for sale anywhere, but you can chase me down and get it. So everybody knows how to get in touch with me. If you'll message me on Facebook, if you'll call me, if you'll whatever, I'll hook it up. I'll have some for you. Because this is good stuff. Now, how much do these suckers cost a piece? I didn't ask you what. <laughs> We've been selling them for ten dollars a piece. All right, and well worth ten dollars a piece. And there's one, two, three, four, five right there. Um, you did a Christmas show. You do a variety of show. You do some rock and roll. If people wanted to book you to come and sing, how do they do that? Just give me a call. Uh, or reach out to you on yeah. email. We we put that up on the screen, yeah, so that'll be yeah. up there. I'm about to get it. Uh, we're about to do a thing on have it on the internet where you can just download my songs because not many, not too many people have CDs anymore. So I know I do. I love I CDs, do. but yeah. whatever. Yeah. So we're going to get it to where you can you can download from like on internet. Spotify or something, yeah, something like, like that. that. I forgot yeah. what the guy said. I don't do that, but the guy's doing it for me. Yep. There you go. There you go. Okay. Can we leave the folks today with just a tiny bit of another gospel song? Your choice. How about I'll fly away? There you go. Let's do <clears> it. Have we got time to tell a short story? Yes. There's a lady. Her name was Teresa Wise. She lived to be over 100 years old. Wow. She loved this song. I would sing it to her all the time. She'd come by my shop or whatever, and I'd go out in the car and sing it to her. There you go. They played it at her service, and uh, her ashes are scattered right above my house on Fort Mountain. Wow, how sweet. She loved this song. How sweet. <clears throat> Like a bird. 